oh, my biggest mistake was I went on a 1,200 calorie diet because that's what everyone says. Yeah. And that's what magazines were telling me. This one's specifically for you, so I'll ask oh, it to okay. you. Okay, all right, let's do this. Um, from Sarah Gaskin 250K Challenge. In episode 007, you mentioned that when you decided to focus up and get it done, it only took you a few months to get your body where you wanted it. What was your starting point? Were you overweight or always pretty healthy? So what did you do in terms of diet, routine, schedule, and how did you stay focused? Uh, did I say a few months? You did, yeah. <laughs> and I called you out on it. By a few months, I meant six months. I guess that, that's more that's than a few. <laughs> still. Yeah. You, no, well, that's how long it took me to really okay, see dramatic I'm not, transformation. I'm not, yeah. Okay, I'm not going I'm not going to say I was at my ideal body point at that point. It just took me a lot longer than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not saying I was like done then and then I never worked out again. Like that's not how it works. Um, but when I first started training, I went into like a six month period of intense focus. And I made so many mistakes during that time that I, that's why I'm saying I wasn't like done yet. I wasn't at my ideal body yet, but that's when I did my first fitness competition. So I was dramatically transformed. Yeah, dialed in. Yes. I was too skinny though. That's why I'm saying I wasn't done yet. So then I, from there I went on to a muscle building phase and like figured things out slowly over years. It took me years to really like get my body to what I considered ideal. So during that six month period, my diet was really strict and I figured out, like I did all my calculations, how many calories should I be eating? No, I didn't. Oh, I remember. Oh, my biggest mistake was I went on a 1200 calorie diet because that's what everyone says. Yeah. And that's what magazines were telling me. That's not what everybody says. Right, but that's what like- Before you knew me. This was, yeah, this <clears throat> was way before I met Brad. So anyway, I put myself on like 1200 calories and then I was doing cardio every day and weight training like five times a week or something. And I had a calendar written up on my wall and like I made a big giant piece of paper and like hand writ written out calendar. And then I would like mark off the days and record my workouts and stuff. So I was like laser focused and I was just insane about this. And I was in school at the time in college and working full time. So I was fitting everything in and just being like nuts about it. That's yeah. it, that's kind of, yeah. that's what it was. That's what it really took to make dramatic transformation. But I think the, the bottom line to this is she had a vision for what she yes. wanted. I knew exactly And she had her mindset set. And then she had a plan of action. I had a timeline, a deadline. And she went from there. So that's... And I had daily reminder because <clears throat> it was posted on my wall. Hope that answers your question. Okay. So as you're starting to see, my fitness journey has been filled with highs and lows. I've been on that yo-yo cycle where things were really good until they were really bad. And I totally understand what it's like to feel so motivated, so driven, only to lose it all again. Or to have a really clean, really healthy diet only to feel so deprived that you completely lose control and things backfire on you. So if you're still in that cycle, and I hear this from so many, that they're just struggling to find that ongoing, steady motivation, I wanna help you because I have been there for seven years now, and this is real, like you've watched my journey, you've seen my steadiness even through two pregnancies, ability to stay lean and stay fit, all the time, not just on the on seasons. So if you want help reaching that steadiness, I wanna help you get there. And just recently, I started taking one-on-one -on -one coaching clients again. I still have really limited availability because I'm raising the kiddos and we're still in quarantine with no schools and all of that. But if it's a fit and if I have enough time, I want to help you one-on-one. -on -one. So reach out to me if you're interested, if you've been watching for a long time but you're still not feeling like you're living lean, Let's fix that, it's time. So shoot me an email, I left my email address in the description box below, and we can see if this will be a fit for us. So I hope to connect with you soon. Question of the day, how long do you think it'll take you to get to your ideal body? Share your experiences in the comment section below. So if you're still on the fence of working with us and coaching with us is gonna help you live lean forever, click right over here, go watch some testimonial videos from other people just like you who are living lean.